Lobo a three in the air. No good. Walters slaps it out. Lobo runs it down and saves it in front of the Connecticut bench. Now she gives the ball to Elliott. Elliott spins against Conklin. Down the lane, fakes, lays it in. Meanwhile, the Huskies' fortunes were on the rise. 43-40. Lady falls in front. Marciniak lobs it out front, and Rosati steals it. Rosati picks it off, and here comes Connecticut down three. Rosati in the front court now sets up the offense. Walters drifts low. Now they flip flop as she pops out high and going down low is Lobos. Lobo hadn't touched it much. Rosati takes it baseline, drives in, layup rolls up there, no good. Walters keeps it alive, bangs it out to Sales who goes in. Collision, no call, and Elliott lays it in. Tennessee playing without Nikki McRae who has some sort of an injury. Or oh, Rosati, a three is good outside. That's her first three of the game. With McRae out, junior forward Michelle Johnson stepped up to fill in for the Lady Vols. Nikki McRae is back into the game now for Tennessee. And UConn's foul trouble resurfaced as Kara Walters picked up her third and fourth personals in a 30-second span. Drives in, runner off the glass, no good. Battle for the boards, and Walters goes over the back and picks up her third foul. That was an easy call. McRae drives down, pulls up, fires on the move. No good. Battle on the boards. Boy, they're really going at it. It's another one on Walters. Walters picks up her fourth. Dana Johnson, the leading scorer for Tennessee all season, added to her point total. Then Rebecca Lobo focused all her attention on the task at hand, and all eyes focused on her. Pressure back on UConn. Lobo goes to work in the lane, and a beautiful shot on a spin move. Lobo's first bucket of the second half. 52-48, Tennessee by four. Milliken out front to Nikki McRae. Barubi checked her defensively. Now Lori Milliken with it. A hard entry pass deflected and stolen by Jamel Elliott of UConn. Here come the Huskies, 34-0 on the year. Down by four with 11-10 to play in this championship game. Nikisha Sales back in there. She had nine points off the bench in the first half. Lobo inside. She scores a reverse left side layup as she knocked it in. She has back-to-back -back buckets. UConn's within two. Injured or not, Nikki McRae was determined to play. Dana Johnson helped out again. She looks to Lobo. She gets Lobo the ball left side. She triggers. She hit it. It's a long two-pointer. The game had become Rebecca Lobo's. UConn back with it now. Lobo open left side. She drills it. A two-pointer, Rebecca Lobo. She's got 14, eight this half. Here's a steal. Rosati takes it away. She goes up the court and lays it in there. After two buckets by Lobo and a steal and a score by Rosati, Pat Summit was forced to take a timeout. 7 one to go. Tennessee 58, Connecticut 57. UConn was ready to move ahead, and they did it on the next play. It was up to Jamel Elliott to do the honors. So now we walk to the other end, and Connecticut will shoot with a chance to grab the lead back for the first time this half. One point UConn lead, Tennessee with the ball, 4.15 to play in the title game. Michelle Marciniak out front. Entry pass goes into Tiffany Johnson. She knocked it home. She's fouled. The basket will count. Husky leadership shifted from Lobo to Elliott and Jen Rosati. Sales look. She plays inside to Elliott. She pumps it up there and got it. Off the glass as time was running out. Out front, Latina Davis. She goes left side. Nikki McRae triggers. It's up. It's missing. Rebound out long. Jen Rosati's got it. She's up the court against Barciniak. Driving inside. She scored! A great move on the left side by Jen Rosati. UConn by two. Connecticut plays it in to Walters. She gets it up here to Rebecca Lowball. Lowball plays now to Jen Rosati, who is shoved and fouled by Nikki McRae. 
pressure free throw situation for the All-American junior Jen Rosati and if she hits just one it's a three point lead foul shot is in there 14 for Rosati. This is for a four point lead she hit it 47 and a half seconds to play UConn by four. Here's Tennessee with the ball and they call timeout. We're seeing history in the making perhaps. Connecticut trying to become the first undefeated champion since Texas in 86. Tennessee inbounds it. Davis inbound it to McCray at the midcourt. McCray now dribbles up to the top of the key. Staying outside the perimeter. Marciniak top of the key. Being hawked by Rosati. Gets a... She got a screen, got into the lane, and was fouled. The foul was before the shot. The foul was before the shot, and I guess it, it looks like it's against Rebecca Lobo as she puts her hands up. Rebecca Lobo drawing her fourth personal foul. That's the seventh on the Huskies in the second half, seventh team foul. So Marciniak will shoot one and one. Four on Lobo, four on Walters, three on Sales, three on Elliott, three on Rosati. Second shot, Marciniak, no good. Rebound, inside, Lobo gets it. Double, triple team, fouled. Perfect at the free throw line, four out of four. And Lobo to try to give her team a four point lead. Rebecca Lobo eyes it, fires it, hits right down the middle. Connecticut trying to go 35 and 0. 66 62, four point lead for Connecticut. Lobo could make it five. They led early by seven. Early in the game, second shot. Around and good. Tennessee was forced to use fouls to regain possession. Keisha Sales baseballs it up the court to Ru Carla Barubi. She tries to make the catch and she's fouled by Michelle Johnson of Tennessee. Good. She hit it. She got it. Now Tennessee plays it in. The clock begins to roll down to six seconds to play in the game. There's a pass in the right corner and a shot put up that is no good. The ball on the far side. Time runs out. Connecticut has won the national championship. UConn 70, Tennessee 64. UConn is 35 and 0 and national champion. To play that game the way it was played um, and to be that team who I thought was as good a team as I've ever seen in college basketball and to win that game, it's the greatest feeling that I've ever had. I mean, this is just a picture-perfect way uh, for someone to end their career. We're undefeated, we're national champions, and I did it with people I love. It really does mean a lot to us, I think. Uh, we don't always have the most talented players on the floor, but we somehow always find a way to play together, have fun, and win. When Beck and, and Kara went out in the first half um, in foul trouble, I was surprised because usually I'm the one going sitting down in the first half with foul trouble. So I knew with those guys out of the game, somebody had to step out in the post. You know, I just tried to carry on and follow in their footsteps. And I was just thinking if I can do half the job they did in the post all 34 games, that we'll be all right. And that's what I did.